My first question is, when did you start to play, like in childhood on, or teenage years? As a band, together? No, like every, every one of you. Music? Yeah, music. Um, I started guitar at the age of 15, 14, 15, around then. And then not long afterwards, I met these guys a couple of years later and we uh, started a band. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I was... I think I like really wanted a drum kit all my life and a guitar, and I, I think I got one when I was about 12, but it was set up the wrong way around because I'm left-handed. So I thought I was really shit at it for ages, but it turned out I was just meant to be playing it the other way around. So he put it the right way around, and then I was like a super awesome player all of a sudden. No, I didn't. I just practiced a lot. I, uh, I think when I was about 12, I started playing piano, um, and then. Yeah, we were we started the band together when we were about 17, 18, wasn't it? And then, yeah, I only started playing the bass for the band, really, because I used to used to play piano in the band, but it wasn't really working. Um, and then, yeah, so I only kind of learned how to play bass for D Mob Happy. Otherwise, yeah, played played piano since I was about 12. So, and doing little bits of singing and stuff as well, but not much really. Is there an age difference between all of you? Two are the same age. He's a bit older by exactly six months. <laughs> Ooh, and he's and he's he's a little little bit younger. Yeah, yeah. He he uh, keeps us going with his maturity. <laughs> um. Yes, I think that was well. <laughs> yes. Have you covered that one? Yeah. Is there a musician you have learned from, like your star of your? Teenage years, you know, I had Michael Jackson, and if you have something like this, um, I think initially for me, at least getting into music, it was Radiohead that got me into it. But then I just went on like a discovery of music and just listened to everything, like mm. more older bands, like like the Beatles and Led Zeppelin, and all like the proper classic, classic 60s, 70s bands. I really enjoyed. Yeah, well, I used to be. In, I was into all sorts of music, but I, I used to have like a double pedal when I was a teenager and try and play metal music. And then I think finding out that John Bonham just played with one foot and Led Zeppelin and did so much great stuff with his right foot, I got rid of that and went to one pedal and kind of simplified what I was doing and wasn't like all the time. Yeah. Um, I think maybe I got a lot of inspiration from my dad. Um, cause he was kind of the one who, uh, encouraged me to do it. Like there's, al he always had instruments about the house. Um, cause he plays piano and he plays guitar and he writes songs and stuff. So he, there was always instruments around the house. So for me, it was just a case of kind of just playing with them and just, you know, having a go and getting, seeing, uh, just gravitated towards piano first. I was just like, I start playing and fiddling around. Um, so yeah, kind of my dad and my brother, um, yeah, made that possible. But then bands like like Adam, like the Beatles and Ten CC and Super Tramp, and then all, but then like quite a lot of electronic stuff, like kind of like house music and stuff like that. I was kind of into like techno and shit when I was younger, because through my brother, like Prodigy and stuff. So yeah, somewhere in, along those lines, <laughs> yeah. And um, <coughs> Kiss of a Rose by Seal from the Batman Forever soundtrack. And uh, about the writing, uh, what, what it's like, because where you are bent, it's a little harder to get the music together. And if you have any tips for writing. Um, any tips for writing? That's a good question. Um, I think people nowadays concentrate too much on how things just sound the aesthetics of things um you know they make sure they've got like the right they they kind of they go okay well we want to sound like a 60s band or something like that so we'll use the same effect pedals and we'll make the recording sound the same and that sort of thing i think what a lot of people don't do is spend enough time learning how to write songs like the craft i think what we did differently was we spent 
lots of years learning how to play and how to write, and we didn't really care much about how it sounded, the kind of finished, the end product. We would just record it and that's how it sounded and we didn't really care. Whereas a lot of bands do it the other way around. They, they spend a lot of time figuring out how to sound before they learn how to write songs. Whereas we started to write songs first. And I think people should, um, yeah, try not to worry too much about the kind of finished product and just kind of write just what feels naturally to them, that feels natural to them when they're in a band and what they want to do as opposed to kind of going, you know, I think once you're further down the line and you've been a band for like eight years like we have, I think you can start to kind of go, all right, we're adept at that, we can, we can do more. Um, but I think for bands just starting out, it's more important to just, to just, yeah, just play what you want to hear, just like what makes you laugh. Like I think it's, it's the most important thing is just laughing, like fun, just having fun. I think bands get, people get too serious with it and they're just like, oh no, it's like an art. But you're like a fucking 16 year old kid, like you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Like you don't make art when you're 16. You know, like it takes a long time before you can actually go, this is art. Um, yeah, that's what I would say. Have fun. I'd say initially just not to be not too precious initially and just go with an idea. And then after that, maybe go into depth a bit more and like figure out little specific bits and add extra hooks or whatever. Because I think it can slow you down if you like stop at every little tiny section before you've even begun to finish an idea. Yeah, I agree. I think like um, in the early stages of the creative process to allow ideas through, especially like you were saying, working in an ensemble in a band, there's kind of, there's more trust involved because when you first let an idea come through you and let it out, it won't necessarily be in its in its best form, you know. And it's there's a lot of trust involved in with your bandmates showing them something that might not be finished yet, and and then as as bandmates, it's taking that and seeing what works of it, and and sometimes one of us will have an idea that's almost finished, and we'll just try and respect that vision, and sometimes we'll just bring one little one little sparkle of an idea and we'll build it up together. But yeah, I think it's as as Adam said, like not worrying about your audience and being precious in those first moments when you're writing, and then down the line, maybe when you're in a studio or you're about to go to a studio and lay it down, then you can think a little bit more about how it's going to sound and how the idea is going to come across. But yeah, have fun with it, get it out, do some, write some songs. Young enough.